What's up y'all, Jeff Anderson here, Florida Fishing Products. The past few videos we've been talking to y'all about how to catch speckled trout. Now, let's say you went out, you caught your speckled trout, but you need some help on how to fillet your speckled trout. So let's talk about that right here. Here we have a very nice specimen. This is about a 22 inch speckled trout that we just caught and I'm gonna show y'all how to fillet this speckled trout very easily. So the first thing that we wanna do is rinse our fish off. I like to rinse it under cold water. All right, so after I rinse the fish off, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it down. These speckled trout, especially if you keep them on ice for more than a few hours, they get like a slime on them. Nothing to be concerned about at all. Just like to wipe that off. So rinse, wipe it off, now we're ready to fillet. All right, y'all, so to fillet speckled trout, all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up the pectoral fin right here, and then we've got the gills. We're gonna make our first cut right behind the gill and this pectoral fin. Now, all the meat is up here, and the stomach is down here, so we're gonna cut a little deeper at the top of the fish, just like this, because that's where the meat is. We're not gonna cut all the way through the fish, because you have the dorsal fin right here, and you have the spine that runs down the fish. So all we're gonna do is just make our first cut right here. And then once we get about halfway down the fish, I'm gonna just use the tip of my knife and I'm just gonna make this cut continue down to this notch right there. All right, y'all, so that's the first cut that we're gonna do is just this one simple cut right behind the gills coming down to that little notch. The second cut we're gonna do is now we're going to use just the tip of our knife and we're gonna work the blade down the fish. When we're doing this, we're not trying to cut too deep into the fish. We're just using you know, this about inch, inch and a half of the tip of our knife to just make this cut down the fish. And all we're doing is we're making sure that we are running as close as possible to the bones. So that way we're maximizing the amount of meat that we're taking off the fish. That noise right there is what you wanna hear because that means that you're getting down to the bones and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we made the second cut and we just went from the top of the fish down to the tail, when you get down to the end, you're gonna stick your knife all the way through and then you're gonna continue the cut out so that opens the filet just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this motion right here, just like this, just letting our knife do the work and staying as close as we can to the bones. Now the filet is coming up very nicely. All we're gonna do is just, again, just use our knife to just cut this filet off the fish. And all we have at this point is just the pin bones. So as you can see, we have our last pin bone that's holding the fillet to the spine. And all we're doing is we're just making small cuts. Again, we're staying away from the stomach. And we're just making these small cuts up the fish just like that. That right there, that's a perfect fillet. As you can see, we took all the meat off this fish we're all the way down to the spine. We didn't even touch any of the stomach meat. So, and we have a nice looking filet right here. We're gonna go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Same steps. That first cut right behind the gill. As soon as we get about halfway down the fish, we're gonna use just like the first half inch of our knife, just the tip of our knife to come down to that notch. There's that first cut. All right, now the second cut is just gonna be this just using the tip of our knife, working it down the bones of the fish, working it down to the tail. Again, just using the tip of our knife, making sure that we're getting as close as we can to the bones, and then we're maximizing all the meat that we're pulling off this fish. Not trying to cut deep at all. These trout are very slippery, so you wanna make sure that you're using caution when you know filleting these fish. Okay, so now that we're getting down to the tail, we're gonna stick our blade through the fillet, and then we're just going to open this filet up on the tail, just like we did the first one. So now the filet starts to open very nicely. And then we're just going to make sure that we are cutting away from us. And all we're doing is just gonna open the filet up. 
Same as the other fillet, we just have these small pin bones that are holding this fillet to the spine. So we're just gonna make small cuts just to work the knife through those pin bones. It's gonna release this fillet. So this is our trout, totally filleted. And as you can see, all the stomach and entrails are intact. We're gonna throw that out. And the very last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up our fillet and get it ready to be cooked. Okay, so these are our fillets. And the last thing we wanna do is we're gonna take the skin off and then we're also gonna clean up these fillets. So we have these rib bones right here, because as you can see, this is where the stomach was. So we got some rib bones. And all we're gonna do is just make one cut around these rib bones. And then you've got the middle, this is like the bloodline of the fish. We don't need to remove the bloodline like we would in some other fish. But we are gonna use that, the first cut, just around these rib bones and just come up to that bloodline. And we're just gonna remove these bones right there and that's trash or bait. You can use this for bait. Put it in your crab trap too. All right, so with the other fillet, same exact thing. So you've got these rib bones. We don't want to eat these right here, so we're just gonna cut around them. So nice looking fillet of speckled trout. Now we gotta do is just take the skin off. So to remove the skin, all I'm gonna do is just hold down. This is the tail side of the fish. I'm gonna hold it down with my finger and I'm gonna cut down to make sure that as I'm starting to bring this meat off of the skin. As you can see right here towards the bottom, all we have is just the skin. So just hold down the tail of the fish. So it allows you to make sure that you are getting a solid grip on the filet. And you can just, at this point, just use your knife. Let your knife do all the work. That's the skin, we're just gonna throw that out. We're gonna repeat these steps on the other filet. Just hold it down with your finger and just work that blade in between the meat and the skin of the fish. Boom, there you go. No meat, all skin. So there it is, so these are speckled trout filets that are ready to be cooked, seasoned, and for the grill, the oven, however you're gonna cook your fish. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on how to cook speckled trout.